Got them winched up there. I just used my winch I use for skinning wolves and stuff. They held in there. Big quarters. <laughs> Thought they were going to go on the ground, but they made it. So I got to take the bark off them now. Hopefully it's uh, good eating. Late moose or you never know. Yeah, but I've never seen a tough moose up here even in late season, but whether he's uh, flavorful or not. Got some damage done there. I shot him into the shoulder. So that's the exit there. He went into this one. So imagine there's some stuff going on there too. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go have a bowl of soup and get back at it. They look like giants with Lori standing there in the background. There's a full moose in there. <laughs> Not much room for Maybe room for another couple steaks, that's about it. Some stuff I got there, I'm gonna jar or make some pep pepperonis or uh, jerky out of burr. So there's a few links there and I got a couple wolves need to get done. Whew, I put this up here so the magpies wouldn't come in here because I had some meat in the tubs there the other night. So. Yeah, woo, burr. How's it going guys and gals? Got my meat all cut, put in the freezer. Uh, just getting my trapping gear straightened out some of it. Cable, snare parts, my knives, pliers, <coughs> skinning stuff. My lures, my pots, which I got to get another one because I boiled up a bunch of stuff in my wolf trap pot for the dog for moose scraps. So I'll be go bum my buddy's pot, I guess. I don't know what I'm going to set this year. Probably do the same as I did last year, put out a few wolverine boxes and whatever I can do for wolves that usually comes a bit at a time I got my eyes there souring up and some scraps there plus my neighbor give me his scraps from his moose so I think I'm just gonna wrap it in the eyes and make four bundles and I got a part of a deer out there and that's it so uh I don't know. I missed out on a couple moose road kills, but I went went for two different ones and come back with neither one. So So, I still got to fix my truck. I lost the fuel pump in it. The spring I lost the transfer case. Then about 2 months ago I lost the fuel pump. No, about a month ago. And the starter was giving me trouble. And now I got eater problems. So they didn't have a fan there. So I bought the resistor. I just need to put it in here. I just got off shift. So today I had a couple truckloads of wood I brought down from up to work. So I uh, this marker ain't working. Just a second. I'm in my pajamas. <laughs> Because I wear them inside my coveralls, they're nice and warm. When I was out splitting wood, so. So I gotta work on my stove tomorrow. Well, I'll show you that here in a bit. I haven't been videoing it, but I should have, I guess. <coughs> I don't know if you can hear me, hopefully. I don't talk too loud. My neighbor will hear me over there. He lives about. My closest neighbor is about 
four or five hundred yards away. So I get my stove done. I'm gonna try to get out there before I go back to work, or even if it's only for uh, overnight or something. There's some wolves running around out there, <clears throat> so be good to take care of them or try to. See, uh, I got it's all day by day. I uh, haven't got money to spare to be doing what I'm doing, but I can't get it out of my blood, so it makes winter go fast. And <clears throat> so I'll do what I can. That's not about. Uh, it is about money for me. I'd like to be at it and at least come out even. So I sell what I can privately. If it wasn't for Wolves and Wolverine, I probably wouldn't uh, make anything. So I still got, I don't know how many links I got. I got a bunch in the freezer. Okay, so that's my Martin lure, which I might put out a couple Martin boxes over where I cut my wood again, like I did last year. I see there's a Martin over there and a coyote and a couple lynx that stole all my chickens there when I was moose hunting. Because I used to let them run loose all summer and never had any trouble all summer. And then we butchered our meat birds and they were gone. Lynx lure wolf gland that I took out of the wolf feet and it's... Yeah, you guys have seen that before. It's terrible. Whoo! Mother trucker. Beaver lure. This beaver caster. Sometimes I'll stick that on a tree. If it all smelled so good as that, be alright. And some more wolf gland. This looks like bot stuff, foresight. Smells the same though, pretty much. Oh, I think maybe I put some of this. Oh, that's that stuff. I just put it in this bottle. <clears throat> and I only got the one bottle of Wolverine lure, which I haven't. I haven't used Wolverine lure for a couple of years. I keep forgetting to put it on the trees because they come for anything. If there's a smell, I'm gonna try. Uh, I'm gonna try burning some moose hide or something this year, or deer hide, and putting in there see how that works. I really wanted to uh, get a trail put in, but I never got a chance to be out there this year. It's always busy when it's moose hunting season. It's a lot of people on the go. And I wanted to put like a trail so I could snowshoe a line. Get in shape and whatnot, or in better shape. I'll never be in shape again. <laughs> so <clears throat> this is some Martin lure too, I think. Oof. Oof. Nope. That's beaver caster, I think. Yep. Must have been stuff I ground up myself. So, so I got my shop cleaned up. Anyway, I'll show you. It's not much happening here. I'm gonna work on my grinder. This is my stove, so. I got to weld that on. I got to weld the top on, but I got to put a couple. I'm going to put a couple stringers in there so this stove don't warp. And I just got that. That's a magnet there. Comes off a mag needle off a pump jack engine. And <clears throat> my door, <clears throat> I just welded. I cut out the piece and then I put these strips under. And I welded my drafter in there the other day, but I kind of welded it under crooked. So I don't know. Don't look too bad there, but to me, I'm going to be looking at it all the time. I grind it off, and I'll see how much wire I got left on my spool on my welder. That's my moose sides. That rack's going to go out to the camp. Still haven't made it out there. Made a little wood rack the other day. I just spent an hour cleaning up in here. Put the meat saw away. That's over and underneath there. My Martin over there in the fisher. Martin from last year. It's usually pretty cool out here in summertime, but 
It's been getting warm with the fire in, so I just lowered them down. I just haven't got any room in my freezers right now. So, I got some wolves in there to do. Not sure what, what they're like. There's some more lures and stuff in there. Yeah, so that's about it. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to throw in some uh, trail cam video too. From uh, when I was out moose hunting the last couple days of the season, when I got my moose, I went up and checked the trail camera that I had out there for, for uh, it was out there about a month or so. So there were some critters on there, more than I thought was there. I, I put it at a moose rub. He had the trees tore up there, which I think I had in one of my videos. So I'll throw that in here. So and whatever else I can dig up to throw in. I usually put in some critters if I see them and get video of them. So because I was seeing a few moose after the season closed, like, like always. We're getting a skid of snow out there, so my truck's uh loaded up. Windows dirty. I split wood today. There's some more over there. So I gotta repack that tomorrow. I just the supper time time I was done. Yeah. So once that thing gets ground off a bit and painted, it should look better. <laughs> anyway, see you guys uh soon. Good luck to all the trappers out there this year. I see some guys making catches already, so that's good. It's a good thing to be doing. Catch you later. Good to be using the quad again at work. Everything froze up pretty nicely. When you get back here. I try to keep them behind me or beside me. Hey, you're going into kennel. Hold up, yeah, good boy. Dug out my sled out under the tarp by my other sled there. Some lumber, some firewood, 
started packing it down here because I got it filled up up there in the snowstorm November 1st yeah well got a call this morning roadkill moose I got right on it I was there within a half hour and there she was gone Another trapper got it, so they put it to good use too, so it's all good. <laughs> Would have been nice to get them though, because uh, I got some uh, some dogs running around out there. Just went and got my permission this morning, so we're set to go. Just, I'm not in no hurry. I need snow to set foothold, so uh, I'll fool with snares a bit, I'll see how it goes. But, I uh, kind of been having more success with the footholds the last couple years as I get more confident in it and stuff and uh, whatnot. It's always a learning experience. Just went over to my woods trail on quarter. So I figured I'd start the old baby up and get my sleigh out. I had her stuck up against the, that old shed there. So all seems well, she fired right up. Season close, three bulls. <laughs> Crazy. Don't tell me they don't know. <laughs> They're up on the road licking the salt off the road. <laughs> I thought he was a big elk, all I seen was points. this road. 